Question number one. Here is a diagram for sorting numbers. Right, one number in each box, one is done for you. Now what we need to realise first is what each row and each column is actually saying. So on this row, we need to have multiples of three. So any number on this row, including in this box as well, and this box, must be multiples of three. Any number on this row cannot be a multiple of three. As for the, so that's why we've written the multiples of three in blue down on the bottom there. Three times table. The columns, in this column, we need multiples of five. So that's this box and this box. And in this column, we need multiples, uh, numbers which are not multiples of five. So not in the five times table, which is why we've written out the five times table in our down here. Obviously, this question is a really great idea if you do make sure you've learned your times table. So let's take one box at a time. So in this box here, we need something that is a multiple of five, so it is in the orange list, but is not a multiple of three, so not in the blue list. So let's think about things that we cannot have. So we can't have 15 because 15 is in the blue list, it is a multiple of three. And we can't have 30 because 30 is also a multiple of three. Now you've got to be really, really careful because 45 is also a multiple of 3 because it's 3 times 15 and 60 is also a multiple of 3 because it's 3 times 20. So we couldn't actually have them either. But any of the other numbers are multiples of 5 and not multiples of 3. So in this box, we could have any one of the following numbers that I'm going to write in now. So we could have 5, 10, 20, 25, 35, 40, 50, or 55. Any of those numbers are multiples of 5 but are not in the 3 times table. This box up here, we need to have something that's not a multiple of 5 but is a multiple of 3. So it's got to be in the blue list but cannot be in the orange list. So is there anything that is in the blue list that is also in the orange list? Well, we can't have 30 because that is a multiple of 5. We can't have 15 because that is a multiple of 5. But any other of these numbers in the blue list we could have. So we could have 3, 6, 9, 12, can't have 15 because that's a multiple of 5. But we could have 18, 21, 24, 27, 33, 36. Obviously, you don't have to write all of these, you just have to pick one. But any of these purple numbers here are multiples of 3, but are not multiples of 5. Finally, we need not a multiple of 3 and not a multiple of 5. Well, that's quite easy because you just need to pick a number that's not in either list. Okay, so it can't be in either list. So, for example, the number 1 is not in either list. The number 2 is not in either list. 3, you can't have because that is in this list. But 4 isn't in either list. You can't have 5 because 5 is in this list. You can't have 6 because 6 is there. 7 is not in either list. 8 is not in either list. But you can't have 9 because 9 is there. You can't have 10 because 10 is there. 11 is not in either list. 12 you can't have because it's there. 13 you could have. 14 you could have. 15 you can't have because 15 is actually in both lists, there and there. Now there's no need, to, you could go on all day, but there's no need because we've got several options there that we could have. As long as you've got one of the options from each box, you would get the mark for that question.